Hey, and welcome to Leah's Handmade Crafts. Um, it's an unboxing, a wonderful unboxing from the marvellous Sandra Testa. This package came today, and I'm very excited. I've already cracked it open because there was some Jolly Ranchers. Yep, you heard right, Jolly Ranchers in there. And I have a not-so-obvious uh, addiction to Jolly Ranchers. I love Jolly Ranchers. And my beautiful ladies from Zoom all know it and they keep me uh, stocked up with Jolly Ranchers. Um, I absolutely love Jolly Ranchers, so very excited. So anyway, I've already taken the Jolly Ranchers out with the exception of these Jolly Ranchers. So I thought I'd show these ones. But I've taken the other three packets of Jolly Ranchers out. Yum! I can't wait to try these as well. And then there were some lollipop, lollipop, la 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 lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. Yes, I'm a bit sad. And an absolutely beautiful stitch marker. I'm a Catholic. And Sandra sent me this beautiful crucifix. Isn't that stunning? I love it. And she also sent me a key. A beautiful key. Along with a tiny little Tennessee. See? That there says Tennessee. So I'm a bit excited about that. So there's two stitch markers, some lollipops, some Jolly Ranchers. Two packets of tissues. One says, find your fearless. And the other one says, believe in yourself. I love those. They'll go in my handbag. Um... Oh, a pen, an American pen. That too will go in my handbag. Thank you, Sandra. Now, I make project bags and Sandra has sent me some fat quarters. One nightmare at Christmas, but this is nightmare at Halloween, and another one. And some kitty cats for my little Mitzi. For those of you who haven't seen, I have a beautiful little kitten by the name of Mitzi. She often sits on my shoulder. And then Sandra made us all some, some, um, I'm hitting a brain blank and they're here. Some beautiful Christmas decorations. And this one is for my son. I know this because it's got green in it and that's for him. And then the others are for my daughter and I to share. But I think my daughter might like that one, to be honest with you. I think she'd really appreciate that one. So these are, these have all been made and starched by Sandra. Sandra doesn't have her own channel. She is a subscriber to many of us. And you'll know if you have a channel, you'll know Sandra. Or you might have seen her commenting on different... Um, platforms it's Sandra Tester she's absolutely gorgeous and she made every one of those stars aren't they the snowflakes sorry snowflakes snowflakes aren't they beautiful they're just gorgeous so much work it went into them and then there's also love faith and hope
that I'm like, oh, and then there's a puppy dog one for my little Gussie boy. And then some sugar skulls. So that's pretty exciting. And then I knew these were coming and I'm a bit excited because I also love the Karen Cotton Cakes and I love the Rose Whisper. This is one of my favourite colours. Other than Nested Blues, Rose Whisper is my favourite colour in the, in the Karen Cotton Cakes. And God bless her, Sandra has sent me six balls. So I will definitely be able to make something from these six balls. I can't wait. I'm going to try this top. So I shall be making that top. So I'm a bit excited about that. So there's six balls of the nested blues. Uh, sorry, of the... Oh, doing well of the Rose Whisper um, and all of these other goodies including my Jolly Ranchers which I've as I said already broken into because I may or may not have a um, a bit of an addiction to Jolly Ranchers they're so yummy just yum 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 I love the grape flavour and the apple. I don't mind the blue raspberry. The cherry reminds me a bit of medicine, but that's okay. I can still take it. But the watermelon, mm -mm. I give those to my mother. I share. So yes, that's me and my addiction. Um, Sandra, thank you very, very much for your generosity. You never cease to blow me away by how generous you are. You're a beautiful, beautiful soul. And I thank God every day for you. So my friends, until next time, keep crafting, keep crocheting, have fun and God bless. G'day, I'm back again. I forgot that I had a magazine review. It's the crochet, sorry, Inside Crochet magazine. And it's magazine number... Do, do, do. issue 115 and with this month's magazine came two hooks 3.5 and a 4.5 millimeter hook and they're boho vibes so continuing on with the festival feel of the magazine now this is a bit late because this is summer style which means it's been out in the UK for a while and we're late getting it but that's okay so this is the contents page. Looks like lots of good stuff in there this week, this month. Um, there's in the loop which talks about all the, you know, the ins and outs, and it has the diary. And there's a couple of pages on that, and then there's a gorgeous giveaway which unfortunately we can never join in because obviously. We get it too late. And then there's Boho Dreams. So Boho Festival inspired ideas. Some fun ideas there. Uh, there's a couple of pages of ads and one on books, different books that are out. The latest Sheepies Yarn book, um, which has the all the different patterns in it. Uh, there's a delicate crochet, crochet dogs. That's an interesting one. And pineapple passion, which is really becoming a, a big thing. And then there's a, uh, a retrospective on Matt Farsi, designer, YouTube, YouTuber, and um, he's in... His YouTube name from memory is Boy and Bunting. And that's his Instagram as well. So this is Matt Farsi. There. So it gives you a bit of an introspective about him. And it tells you a bit about him. And then there is one of his patterns, which is the pom-pom cushion.
then there's something called the Make Summer Crochet Special. And there's different odds and ends that you can use or buy and different places you can get different crochet related fun things. And then we come to the patterns. And so we start off with this wrap. And it's the boho wrap. It's quite nice. And then there's the groovy chevron wrap. Followed by the California Dreams top. I quite like that top. But I like that chevron scarf. Shawl. And then there's the Rio Poncho. Followed by the filigree lace shawl. That's really pretty. And I'm not into filigree, but that is really pretty. Then there's the bourgeois scarf. That I would make. And finally, and I really love this, the Good Vibrations dress. Now... I would make it minus the tassels. Now I know the tassels finish it off, but I don't like the tassels. And when you wash them, they always come out ratty, tatty and horrible. So I would make it minus the tassels. But I love that dress. Definitely make that dress. Might even make me one for summer. Hmm, that's a thought, that's a thought. I've got plenty of cotton that I could use to make it then there's fill your home with lacy stripes retro styling and fun dress up and this is the filet sweater there's the spider plant and the summer sunflower boho bag so you can make yourself your own spider plant. You don't have to worry about watering it. Win-win. Then there is the retro plant hanger and the 70s vibe belt. I love that 70s vibe belt. And these are really coming back into to trend, aren't they? The boho plant hangers. They're really coming back in. Then there's the off the beat placemats and the eclectic cushion. I love the cushion, the placemats. Those placemats are really funky. Uh, we have the Granny Mac wall hanging. It's different. And the Western Poncho. And finally, we finish it off with the festival coat. Definitely a must make in my world. And the Calamira drawstring bag. But I love that coat. That coat is seriously cool. And then we have the, the various patterns so they step them out this is the boho wrap and the thing I like about this pattern is they give you the chart to go with it love it love when they give you the chart uh, the bourgeois scarf Here we go. The Good Vibrations Dress. 
definitely making this, I think. Definitely making that. And I might do it in Rose Whisper. I've got some of the new cakes. And I might do it in the Rose Whisper. Hmm. Yep, I might work out how much that's needed and I might make that one up, definitely. I love that, that's just too cute for words. The Rio Poncho, I quite like that. It's got an understated elegance about it. Really quite pretty. Really quite pretty. And then there's the California Dreams singlet. I must say I want to learn how to make a singlet like that so I can um, make it for myself. Oh, okay. I'm not so sure I want to make it now. I don't like the back. See, if that was a closed-in back, I would make that, but I'm not quite so sure about that, I think. Well, women of a certain age, really, these sort of clothes aren't for them. And I know that sounds a bit ageist, but that's really not my style. But I love this. This is the festival coat. How good is that? That would be just so nice. Just on a cold or a cool spring evening just to wear that. Yep. Definitely. Got to work out the colour scheme, but definitely making that. The Groovy Chevron scar Shawl. I don't know why I keep calling it a scarf. It's definitely a shawl. Very pretty. Very pretty. The filet sweater I quite like. Now, I'm not a fan of filet as a rule, but I quite like the sweater. That is really pretty. Really quite pretty. And I like that it's fully enclosed. I like that. I might consider that one instead of the other California Dreams one. The uh, Sunflower Boho Bag, very trendy. Seriously trendy for a girl about town. As is the 70s Vibe Belt. How cool is that? Now... I have the entire collection of People's Friends. No, not People's Friends. Golden Hands. Golden Hands. They were a, a crafting magazine that was out in the 70s. And I... 60s, 70s. And I have my mother's entire collection, which means I have all of the really, really cool crocheted items in their original patterns. So I must get out and get cracking on some of those. The Calamira drawstring bag. Isn't that pretty? 
Very versatile. This is pretty. The filigree shawl, isn't that just dainty? Just dainty. So, sorry about that. Um, so there's the off-the-beat placemat. Oh, I love that. I really like those. And I might be tempted to make some for myself, minus the tassels, of course. I know the tassels finish it off, but they're just... They're just not me. I just don't do tassels. The eclectic cushion... Now, I do like this, the Granny Mac wall hanging, and it actually shows you how to go about making the wall hanging and how to crochet around the, the wooden circles, how to do the individual squares. And I know that it finishes it off, but again, that always appears scruffy after a while and tatty and ratty but I acknowledge that it probably wouldn't look the same if it didn't have it so I don't know what the answer is I'd be tempted to make it without the tassely bits but then I'm not big on that now I do love this this is the western poncho it is really quite cute for a young boy. How trendy is that? That is really cute. And then we have the retro plant hanging. I do like those. I love those actually. If I had hanging plants, I would be very tempted to make some. But alas, I do not. And that, my friend, is it. There is a section for next month telling you about what's on what's on the next month. Um, Sun-drenched style for the home and away. International inspiration from around the world. And portable projects for hooking on the go. And that's for issue 116. And then they finish off with the spider plant. I do like that. Fuss-free planting. Love it. Fuss-free planting. I do like spider plants, I must say. And so that's it. Talks about the how-to section. A couple of pages on the how-to section. The abbreviations, working in the round... And it finishes off with talking to Tatsiana from Leela Born Crochet about cowls, cardigans and combining crochet techniques. And that is the end of the magazine. And we've got a friend come to visit us. Hello. Did you want to say hello to everybody? Say hello, everybody. Come on, say hello. Hello. All right. On that note, I'm going to head off. Keep crocheting, keep crafting, have fun and God bless.